Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now, for this video, I will be showing you how to draw a triangle when all you are given is the area of the triangle. So if you need to draw a triangle, but you do not know the length of any of the sides, all you know is the area, this is how you'd go about drawing that triangle. Alright, so it says to construct a triangle whose area is given. And it says let the area of the triangle be 3000 millimeters squared. Alright, so the triangle that we are going to draw, the area is going to be 3000 millimeters squared. So it says the first thing that we are going to do is to draw any rectangle ABCD equal to the given area. Alright, so this triangle here, ABCD, the area of this triangle, of this um, rectangle, sorry, the area of this rectangle right here is 3000 millimeters squared. Alright, so it says example 30 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So to get this rectangle being 3000 millimeters squared, we can draw one side 100 millimeters and the next side 30 millimeters, or we can draw one side 60 and the next 50. Alright, as long as when you mul multiply one side by the next side, you will get um, 3000. Alright, so let's do 30 millimeters by 100 millimeters let's construct this rectangle all right so in autocad i'm just going to go ahead and select our rectangle i'm going to choose a place to start then i am going to type 100 comma 30 enter so there i have my rectangle and i'm just going to label my rectangle a b c d all right so let me just come over here to text, select a multi-line text, just click on somewhere to start, create this little rectangle, click there. So now I'm going to write A, alright, I want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to type scale, click on A and type scale, S-C-A-L-E, and I'm going to click on the A, I want it to be about twice the size, so I'm going to type 2, enter. Good. So I'm going to click on this and change the color. So I'm going to come over here to buy layer. Click on the on buy layer and change it to a lime green color. Then I can come here and click on the move tool or I can just type move and press enter. So I'm going to click on the A. I'm going to move it from here. But as you can see, you can it's only moving horizontally or vertically. So to change that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn off ortho. So now I can move it to wherever I want. So let me just put it here. Alright, so now I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to click on the A. So let the copy tool right here. Or I can type copy and press enter. Then click on the A. Come over here. Put one there. And put one here as well. Alright, so let's label this the same way it's labeled. So let's change this to B. This is C. And then this is D right here all right so we, we we are finished with um number one we constructed the rectangle so now the next thing it, it says is to produce bc to e such that bc equal e so what that means is this this line bc we should extend it to e and ce should be equal to bc so if this is 30 then this should be 30 as well all right so let's do that so i'm just going to select a line come to this point right here so get this green box that says endpoint ensure that you have object snap turned on click on the drop down arrow and turn on endpoint all right so i'm going to click on this point right here and i'm going to turn on box also because since i'm drawing a vertical line Alright, so I'm going to type 30 and I'm going to press enter. Good. So now what I'm going to do from that point, this would be point E. So from point E, I'm just going to draw a line down to A right here, like that. Good. So now let me label this E. So I'm just click on this and copy it from here. Bring it to here. Double click this. 
and change this to E. Good. All right. So now we have the triangle that is equal in E area to the rectangle. But so I'm just going to shade the triangle so that we can see it clearly. So to do that, we're going to use hatch, H-A-T-C-H. -H -H. So I'm going to click on hatch. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow right here. Select hatch. Or I could just type hatch. And I'm going to select a solid hatch. So I'm going to click right here. Then I'm going to click here and it will shade that area white. And I'm going to click here as well. So now we can clearly see our triangle. So our triangle right there is A, B, E. That's our triangle. So that is how you draw a triangle when all you're given is the area of the triangle. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more technical drawing content. Thanks again for watching.